Welcome back. This is Archangel 444, Love Guide. And I am back with another collective message. Um, let's go ahead and pray and we can get straight into it. Father, we thank you for being here with us today. I pray that you would bless this message and cover it in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead, I plead your blood over this message and I bind and rebuke all demonic energies or forces that would try to enter in or affect any word of it in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would speak through me and use me. I decrease so that you may increase in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Hi, collectors. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So it looks like collected, you could really be in a space um, where you're being seen as very confident and secure. You are being seen as like an action taker, someone that really can make things happen and make things happen for other people. Um, you're also just very inspiring, you know, like you are... Um, very inspiring to those around you and those that interact with you. You have this very strong presence about you. And um, it looks like you have been sitting in a space of thought and reflection concerning a relationship or something that you have like a commitment or an attachment to. This could be something that you've been committed to for a, you know, an extended period of time. This could be something that you were really invested in at one point, but you're really having a change of mind in regards to this. You see things very differently um, with this connection. You know, like you have a very, very big heart and you have a lot of love to give for this connection, but at the same time, you have come to this aha moment that it's time for you to really focus and love yourself first. It's time for you to really focus on your self-confidence and the things that are really um, important to you as far as who you are going to be in the future or what it is that you're focused on or what you're producing, where your mind is. You know, like you are really considering like where this connection takes you mentally. So this could literally be like a marriage. Um, it doesn't have to be, but this could just be like a very long term commitment. This could be, you know, just take it however it fits in your life. This doesn't even have to be a marriage. This could just be something that you were seriously committed to. Um. There's pollen everywhere. And I have the windows or like the doors open. It's coming in everywhere. Yeah, but it's like, you know, this connection with this boss figure, like, I'm just going to call out the cards today because I'm really feeling like specific energies with the with the person. You can place yourself where you fit. It doesn't, you don't have to be a male or woman in each um, area, but I'm just going to say it how I see it. So like I see here, this is a female energy that's in this heavy, deep place of contemplation. This is someone that is very beautiful on the outside. Like, um, you could have like really nice features, very beautiful features that keep you very, um, that complement you very well and give you like a lot of confidence. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Um, but just take it how it fits, right? So this is a sexy person. This is someone that, and they're in this connection and they're really considering how they want to move forward or really the state of mind that they feel about whatever this they're committed to. And they're coming to the conclusion that although they're resilient, they've had to fight a lot of battles with this emperor. So um, this is someone that takes, you know, very deliberate action. Hang on. This is someone that takes um, very deliberate action. This is the type of person that is always, you know, like acknowledged as being in charge in regards to situations. But this is a very stubborn person as well. And this person is very stubborn. They could be really set in their ways because they have established a certain foundation or like this is um, a provider. This is someone that could possibly, you know, provide a certain level of um, stability for others people or for you collective, just whichever role you're in. 
Um, but you're starting to see now that like, although you and your person, like there's very attractive qualities to both of you um, and you're both like you have this equal attraction, there's still something here that is not mutually attractive. with the unrequited love there's something here although there is attraction here it's not enough because there's another area here where it's lacking a mutual attraction and this is like um unhealthy for the connection it just becomes very unhealthy like what this does is this can trigger old wounds and old patterns um you could find you could find yourself kind of thinking collective that maybe you have been drawn into relationships or connections that mirror unhealed areas of your life or unhealed areas that maybe were witnessed um, or that you experienced as a child or anything like that. Like sometimes, you know, we find ourselves repositioning um, who we are in these connections and relationships so that we can close out certain chapters or we can relive certain experiences so that we can finally speak our peace or we can finally justify some form of behavior. But at the end of the day, the connection wasn't built on the right um, pretenses. Like they're, you know, going into the connection, there could have been something that drew both people individually into the connection that, you know, maybe you you felt like you could overlook whatever differences or you could overlook the things that really didn't match up yeah and it's just like you're looking at this now and you feel like you know you're wounded just you're you're slightly wounded it's like you're not giving up you're a fighter you're very resilient but you're acknowledging that you've had to do way too much fighting in this you've had to stand your ground way too many too many times in this and this has really created some form of unhealthy connection and um there you know that's a huge portion of what you don't like that is a huge portion of what is very unrequited. It's like the fact that this person will stand in a position of power and watch you be wounded and not respond, or you um, feel wounded by someone. I can clarify that more because it's just kind of. Yeah, or it could just really, you know, hurt your feelings, just kind of thinking about going through whatever patterns um, where there are some things that are very aligned, but then at the same time, there's things that you can't ignore that are just not going to work, you know, um, and that's okay. It's like you built some form of foundation with this person. There was exchanging um, and sharing of money and finances. There was, you know, um, things that had been acquired and established together. And it's like you really made the effort in the past collective. Like I see here that you really tried. You did a lot. Like you did as much as you can as far as like using your intuition and going within or um, doing this or doing that or taking this action or taking that action or, you know, feeling like, okay, I, I need to pray or I need to wait and I need to do this and I need to whatever. But you're not willing to go through all of that anymore. You're not doing that. And this has brought you to a place where you could have spoken a truth in regards to this recently. Um or this is the future that you are going to speak a truth or this could have already happened. Just take it, you know, how it fits into your life. But you have definitely spoken your truth in regards to you are no longer interested in making this type of effort. You know, you don't feel like this is worth it. You don't feel like this is worth your time. You have literally done all that you can possibly do. You've like really racked your brain for ideas. You've really kind of like minimized who you are as far as like um, your you know if the, if you had to like 
diminish any part of your characteristics to kind of keep things in order or keep things peaceful or whatever that is. You had the stamina and you had the eagerness to do this in the past. You felt like it was this connection was worth making this effort. You felt like this was what needed to happen. You felt like this is something that is built and it's not, um, you know, this is not a connection that you get all the time. Or like, you know, you're someone that's very invested in your security, your stability, you know, participating in whatever it is that your family has that's growing or your partnership is trying to grow or or produce. So this is why you can stand in this energy free and clear and you can just honestly speak your truth from a place of logic and understanding. You've really gone and you've thought about this and you're ready to have this conversation. It's almost like, yes, please come and talk to me about this because I want to let you know that I was actually all in. I was all in on this. However, people abusing their power or wanting to see someone wounded or wanting to see someone hurt just because they can. Um, and that's what it looks like here. It looks like, you know, it's like something about the energy being produced is just not good. But whatever it is that you're going to say collective to this person, this is really going to bring justice because this is going to come from a very unbiased place. This is going to come from a place of truth. It's like someone cannot help but hear you out and really fact find and do some deep soul searching. And that's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to go into a space of self-reflection. They're going to go into a space of thought. This person feels that they've achieved a lot. Maybe this is someone that has, you know, conquered a lot of things. Maybe they've um, overcome a lot, but this person knows how to go and kind of like go into a higher space of mind and really step into a space of self-acknowledgement and self-reflection. And they may be sh starting to like shed a little light on a lot of these situations that have grown cold on the inside of them or however they felt on the inside. You know, this person could have been feeling like there's a lot that they have to discover alone or they're in a very cold place right now. But the light is not very bright right now um, as far as exposing certain things, but the light will begin to grow greater and greater. And the more they understand and the more they reflect and they pull out the deeper parts of their subconscious and their thoughts and, you know, their behaviors and how they they may have conducted themselves or whatever it is that caused this to be unbalanced and unrequired unrequired as far as like mutual attraction they're really going to think about that and that's going to be the space that they stay in because they're going to chew on that for a little bit. It looks like they're going to see this as, um, so like one of you, so this is this person, or this could be you, but someone is going to acknowledge their unhealthy behaviors because they, um, let me see, this is, So, okay, this is that person. This is not you, Collective. I mean, just take it however it fits, you know, if it resonates. Codependency. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is this person is going to realize that they have unhealthy attachments or, you know, this is not necessarily like... um like a substance abuse or anything, this could be, but they're going to realize that there's something that they do that really masks their pain from their past. So like this person could still be experiencing a lot of pain from past hurts or whatever it is that they feel like they need to be guarded from in regards to um, giving and receiving or whatever. This person does something to numb their heart so they don't walk around feeling any type of emotions. But at the same time, it stops them from having any type of like intimacy or any type of connection or really like um, being able to really being able to connect in a way of like pure love. You know what I mean? Like this person feels like their pain of their past is the reason why they have to do whatever it is. They're addicted to doing something that will really mask this their heart, that really keeps them protected. And then it blocks them from being able to be in a very warm and genuine heart space. 
I hope that makes sense. So it's like they're seeing this now. Um, You could also be kind of like thinking now that this relationship or this connection partnership was a, ma a massive burden because you really put forth a lot of effort in this. Like you used all of your resources, any type of time, energy, like you did everything that you could on all levels to really invest in this and really work towards this. Like you were really invested in this. And you honestly felt that this was going to kind of like set the stage and just clear the pathway for that to be reciprocated in a way where you're showing how invested you're showing that you'll use this resource and that resource and you're willing to do this and do that and, you know, show up in regards to like um, emotional transparency or giving clear communication or or helping or anything like that. Um, you used all of your diplomacy, you know, like you did you really worked you tried with this and it's like you thought that this was going to be bringing in and calling in what you wanted with whatever connection this was that was really what you wanted you thought that it's like if you put out a certain level of vibration then your person would pick up on that vibration and then you guys would flow on that synergy but it looks like the partnership just became a complete burden where you don't even want to show your face like it could be like um you're just it was just more than you really want to deal with and you are you're just way overburdened by this. You feel like, you know, there's a lot of busybody energy involved in this too, where there should have been like emotional bliss and like, or this could be you feeling this way. You could be feeling like you had to carry a lot of the burdens from this. And this connection could have also been overseen by someone that was like heavily involved in the connection that was close, that partnered with you and your person, or maybe you and your person went. I don't know. But there should have been something that was bringing a lot of like happiness and bliss and holiday time and all of that. But it just really brought a lot of burden. And so it looks like you're going to get a new opportunity, Collective. You're getting ready to be offered something. You'll get you're gonna get a new opportunity. This could be in the form of like something um like a gift. You may be offered just some form of wealth or something that's really gonna help you be stabilized. And but this is definitely monetary. This could be coming from a king of swords, which is Libra Gemini Aquarius. And this could really start moving things forward ahead for you. Like the wheel could really start turning in your favor with this offer that's coming from this King of Swords. Or this could be like, you know, this offer is going to come and this King of Swords is going to bring a lot of like wisdom and advice and counsel that's really going to move things forward. But you really in your head about it because you know you're going to have to completely walk away from something. You're going to have to completely walk away from this ex or this person that you're with. Like you would have to completely release them out of your energy to have this. But it's like, ultimately, this is going to make you so happy, you know, like you are going to have all of these true and overwhelming emotions. This will really put you in a space where, you know, it'll make you feel like you're getting pure and genuine love. And it'll also put you in a place of like very calm and content with your life. It's like you're going to be able to relax and then you'll be able to connect more to your artistic expressions or the things that make you feel like you're creating beauty or creating love. Like this is a very peaceful energy that's going to come. But you might, you'll be conflicted about this. And I'm getting ready to clarify now. So, but this is somebody from your past. This could be someone that you have unfinished business with. This could be someone that, um, 
is a part of your soul tribe or your, you know, like your soul family, you know, there could be something that needs to happen or a lesson that still needs to be learned together or some type of growth or progress. But this is, um, it definitely, it doesn't have to be romantic, but it's definitely someone who is from your past that you've already known. It could be romantic. It could be that they want to offer you something and this is going to really bring you into a place of stability. And, you know, like, it's going to change some things around for you, but you don't want to really step. You don't really want to do that. Like this is really putting you in your head. Let's clarify. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, will you please clarify? Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, you regret this. That you feel like this is a loss. Like this is a massive disappointment. Um, disappointment. This was totally unexpected. But you feel that you need to move on because there's too much um, dissatisfaction there. There's way too much dissatisfaction and bitterness. Clarify this. Yeah, you feel like the divine is going to intervene for you because you can be in a better balanced connection or there is better balancing in regards to your life. Like you're getting ready to receive some spiritual assistance. Yeah, the, the divine is going to intervene in this and really balance this out because whatever it was that was, what was the un... What was the lack of mutual attraction, Holy Spirit? What? So it's like, um, it could have been unrequited because you're not like those that have come before you. So you weren't the same as something else. Like you didn't match up to something that they were expecting. Okay. You may have in the past, you may have spoken really highly of this person. Like there's a lot of things that you said that were really good, but that's over now. Like you're not going to be speaking like this person's praises. You're not going to be going before them and declaring like all of this good thing. Like this cycle is completed. You feel like um, you're ready to move on to the next phase of your life. And this is over. You have everything you need from this. This person is frustrated about your level of protection and growth. They don't really, they, they want to like... They're upset about that. This could be a connection to um, Samson and Delilah. Wow. So this could really be someone who wanted to take from you. They wanted to, you could have even experienced someone, like you could have had your hair shaved like um somebody that wanted to cut your hair if they if you told this person the source of your power they were going to come for that so like this is someone that just really wanted to strip you from what it was that made you great that made you strong that made you special and this is basically what has been going on this entire time with this connection, this is what has you so burdened and weighed down. It's like when you should have been, you know, enjoying time together and in having these like really happy, warm moments, there you weren't. Yeah, it's like this new opportunity that's coming towards you. Yeah, this is you or your person, like...
So either this King of Swords is going to make you an offer that is really going to benefit you, but it kind of still leaves you in a place where you're um, you're in your head. You could be stuck. You could be feel that you're bound to some sort of sort of contract, or you feel like you really can't move right now, or there's something that's making you not really want to dive into this. Um, you really could be conflicted about like behaviors or things that were said in the past or something like that. Or this is this person seeing, you know, like this new opportunity coming towards you and them feeling like Yeah, them feeling like they know you're gonna do the logical thing and you're gonna go with, you know, what's going to be best for you. And this will leave them in a space where they're stuck. And they know that they're going to be released. They know that it's time for you to release them out of your energy. They know that. They know it's time. You could be in a lot of fear and anxiety, or this person is. This is a lot of stress. Some type of good news for you is just going to bring a lot of stress in for this person because it's like you and them both know that it's time. Like, you know that once you move into this new space and you like you speak your truth, you walk away from this connection, you know that you have to totally walk away from it 100 percent. And they do, too. Just take it however You really could be in a space of healing right now. Like you're just resting and awaiting like insight and answers. You feel like, you know, healing will bring in the right answers. But you know that there's going to be some level of really good news coming in for you. This level of good news coming in for you. <clears throat> This could be your person feeling like really faint. They feel short of breath. Like they're really, really not happy about this. This is really having this person like you could be like um, home to this person. Here, I'll show you. It's like short illness, heart home. And this person just looks devastated. So... Yeah, it's like this person they know that at the in the end of the at the end of the day you're going to do whatever makes you feel the most happy, where you feel the most safe, where you really can like really rest and express true emotions, you know, just kind of relax and let things let the past go. All of the burdens just let that go. It's like what puts you in this artistic energy where you're able to relax and kind of like really go with the flow and you can just kind of like be calm and content with your life. This is this will clear your energy and it's going to bring in a whole new level of high vibration. It's like you pouring into yourself right now and taking time out for personal growth. You really receiving this true pure love, whatever this offer is from this person from your past, this is going to bring a lot of spiritual healing. This makes you feel like you, um, you feel good. You look good. You have faith, you have hope. Like it really renews a lot for you. This could be something that's taking twice as long But it was love at first sight. Yeah, you really could be thinking now, like, 
you want to surrender to like the energy of this because this is something that you've never really felt before. It's like um the feeling that you get from this, the feeling that you're you're getting from walking away from one thing that's old and going back to something that's really going to turn your life in the right direction. This really makes you feel like things are really going to go in a great like in a way for you that will really help you relax and move your life forward naturally, you know? Yeah, you could be dealing with someone like you could be someone who is really like you have a heart of gold and you're assertive, like you have knowledge that only a few people share, but you could have been dealing with someone who's also like creative and kind, but like this person is a little unapologetic. They're very emotionally aware, but they could be really confused about something too. There's like a blockage. They could have really been confused about a choice or a decision. Okay, I'm being um, led to in the message there. Okay, and that's all I have for you with this one. All right, bye.